What's up, what's up y'all? Happy Monday, welcome to another Mindset Monday, giving you the tips, strategies, and tools to, de to develop and grow in your personal development, business, and life. And so today, I want to dive right in on today's topic of how to grow your business successfully through the power of patience. So first of all, how many of us, if you are an entrepreneur, go ahead, raise your hand, drop a one in the comments, and you started a business and you're wanting it to grow immediately. I know when I first started my business, I wanted to have this overnight success. And I want to let you know that that is not realistic at all. So patience is gonna be key. Um, mindfulness is going to be key. Setting real, ex realistic expectations, preparing for stumbles and roadblocks along the way, and so much more. And in this world that we live in, instant gratification is like we want it now you see fast food restaurants everywhere you got amazon prime you got groceries delivered to your door you basically have so many like done for you services even like like cleaning cooking everything is done for you and it's instant we're impatient and we want it now but when it comes to business and growth you have to be realistic with yourself that it does not happen overnight and so i want to go into how many of you guys have seen this quote, heard this quote, slow and steady wins the, wins the race every single time. So if you, it makes me always think about the tortoise and the hare and how the hare was so fast and you thought he was going to win. But the tortoise, he just took his time patiently along the way. And who won? The tortoise. And I know that's like kind of a, an off the wall like kind of comparison. But when it comes to your business, you want to one, set realistic expectations. So let me um, show you number one, number one. Okay, so number one, set and establish realistic expectations. Reason being is because when you want fast, quick results, um, when you want fast, quick results and immediate growth, you can feel dejected when it doesn't happen. This can give you um, motivation could go down you can feel like you're a failure when you're really not. Um, and so you want to set realistic expectations when it comes to your goals business-wise. If Especially like, for example, when I first started exercising and working out, um, when I was heavier, I didn't expect to lose 30 pounds in 30 days. That's not real. But what I did do is I planned out at least, gave myself at least um, three months to uh, six months to actually successfully see results. When it came to my business, I did not expect to go from, you know, zero to 10,000 or even six figures within a month or two. I actually set up a plan of how I was wanted to strategically wanted to grow realistically. And when you do that, you're going to stay motivated, you're gonna stay on the course, and yes, failures did come along the way, but I learned from those failures. So that is number one. So how many of you have taken the time, for, for especially this is, you know, we just ended the first quarter of the month, the first quarter of the year. How many of you actually have hit some of your goals that this past first quarter? And if you didn't, go back and reflect, okay, what were some of my goals? What could have I done differently? What are some of the habits that I could have shifted and changed to help improve this next quarter, this next month, because we are in a new month. And by the way, um, if you guys haven't noticed, no, known, I go live every Monday. I did not go live the month of May, the, the month of March, because I was moving, then I was out of town, but now your girl is back and we'll be going live every Monday at 11 a.m. with a new topic. So that is number one. You want to establish realistic expectations to successfully grow your business. Number two, you want to take slow, meaningful steps forward. And this is critical because um, if you're trying to do too much at once, you're going to get overwhelmed, you're going to get burnt out, and you may again, you might just want to quit. And you want to take the time to build and grow your audience. Uh, understand like what is your product, what is your offer, and how is it going to serve a specific niche. And so a lot of businesses, this is something that they fail to do, and it's a, really a critical element to the success of your business. You want to find and determine what your niche is and what is the specific pain point or problem you are going to solve and give the solution to this specific niche and audience. 
and you want to become the best at that within your specific business. And once you're able to target those specific people, then when you start a product launch, you want to at least give yourself two to four weeks, even even more, to help build that momentum and build the understanding and rapport with that specific audience before launching your product and service. A lot of us, um, I'm going to talk primarily in regards to the fitness space, we will say, I serve everyone. I want to help everyone. But you actually are doing yourself a disservice when you're trying to target everyone because when you're targeting everyone you're really targeting no one and you want to get really specific on who you are talking to and who you are going to serve so that's going to be really critical in regards to the growth and success of your business and for those of you who are here how many of you have taken the time to niche down do you know who your specific target audience or clientele is for your product or service if not it's time to go back to the drawing board um, possibly do some market research and figure who that is specifically. Number three, you want to develop skills and improve your knowledge all the time. As a business owner, you should always be constantly wanting to grow, to learn, to become more for not only yourself personally, but also for your business. And with technology at the tips of our fingers within the palm of our hand, um, there's no reason why you shouldn't be taking the time at least 60 minutes to 90 minutes every single day just to learn something new for growth. And you can reorganize tasks, you can take courses, and, and other steps to improve your processes and automations within your business. By the way, if you don't already have some kind of automation running in the background in your business, make sure to reach out to your girl uh, or follow us at The Brand Trainers or Join Captivate. Join Captivate is our digital marketing company. And then The Brand Trainers is helping fitness professionals specifically showing you how to develop and automate your business so you can grow online. So make sure to check those two out. But you always want to be improving your skills. And if you know if you're lacking in an area, go ahead and delegate it. You don't want to, again, be taking on too much. You want to be performing in your expert and area of genius to become the best that you can within your business. Number four, learn from failure. Yes, failure is so necessary. And I know like a lot of entrepreneurs like to say fail fast because the bigger the failure, the more you're going to learn from that, that mistake. For example, for me, when I first started out, didn't know who my niche was. I uh, also invested in a company. I actually maxed out a credit card. So how many of us as business owners, we actually put ourselves into debt to grow our business? Yes, it sounds crazy, but it's kind of necessary to take that risk. Personally, for me, I invested 10 grand into a company that gave me no kind of service. They didn't target any kind of specific audience. They didn't run the ads properly. Um, I was really sad and depressed at that time, but you know, I was like, you know, I gotta figure out, figure this out. This is a learning lesson and a learning curve. And so I continued on forward and I still invested in my business with different areas. And eventually I figured it out. It took some time, but I figured it out and within the next six months, I got that return back, got that money back, my business grew, I grew, but I was always constantly making sure to learn from that mistake and from the mistakes that I followed. Because as you grow, you're going to hit different roadblocks, roadblocks, different challenges, and just know that it's absolutely normal. And all you have to do is just make adjustments along the way to yourself, to your business plan, and this is ultimately going to improve your chance of success within your business. So those are the four tips for today. And, and so just to go ahead and recap on those, you want to one, establish realistic expectations. Okay, establish realistic expectations. Number two, you want to take slow, meaningful steps forward within your business. Number three, you want to develop skills and improve your knowledge. And number four, learn from those failures and those mistakes. They're necessary in regards to the growth of your business. And so moving forward, how will you practice patience within the growth of your business? Take some time, write it down, and know that it's necessary. All those steps are necessary for the growth of your business. If you have any questions, if you have any suggestions, let me know um, moving forward. And if you're ready to 
practice that strategy for yourself, the power of patience. The final step was you might need some extra accountability to actually write that down. So to level up your business, you need to have a business strategy. You need to have a plan. This is a new quarter. If you haven't already written down your goals or you don't take the time to write down, okay, what are my top three objectives for today? How am I going to accomplish those? Where do I need to focus? You need to start doing that now. Because when you write it down, that's where it's still going to start becoming reality. You write it down, then you plan it out, and you create the action plan and the strategy, and then you actually execute. Execution is going to be key in regards to the successful growth of your business. So I hope you found these tips, strategies, and tools very useful within your personal life, within your business, and again, within life. And next week, we are going to go over the power and why mindset matters, especially right now, especially when you're starting your business. So I hope you guys found this valuable. Please like, please share, please save, please follow and subscribe. And I shall see you next Monday at 11 a.m. See you then. Bye for now.